If you ever wanted to draw some feather friends, we'll be bringing these love ducks to life. If you haven't met, I'm Liz. I'm going to show you the process and some tips about this illustration. So let's dive in. First of all, I'm going to add a layer to start sketching. When drawing ducks, I typically begin with a circle for the head, followed by an oval for the body, and connecting them with a neck completes the basic shape. It looks a bit static to me, so I'm going to choose the selection tool, the one that looks like an S, and select the whole neck and head. Second step is to create another layer to draw the second character. In this case, it will be a female deck. We will draw the same shapes, first the head and then the oval-shaped body. Now, it's crucial to draw the feet of the duck slightly angled, rather completely straight. We are using the selection tool again to work on the neck. I always use the warp tool. To use this tool, click on the S tool, select the part you want to change like this, click on the transform tool, which has an arrow icon, and then on the bottom appears the warp tool. Now, let's draw a chick on top of her, like, what are they doing? Like, <laughs> like children do, right? When they see their parents. I don't like the shape of some details, so I'm cleaning and adding some extra details. At this stage, we can explore and sketch and be like uh, untidy because later on we're going to work on the art line and everything will look nicer and cleaner. But now you can explore and experiment everything you want. I'm including some hearts and perhaps a little bit of confusion from the chick's perspective. But yeah, no, I'm going to take that away. And now on the layers panel, merge these three layers by pinching the first and the last layer with your fingers, like this. Take the sketch layer and reduce the opacity and that will serve us as a guide. We'll begin defining the R line with clearer lines on a new layer. Now, let me know in the comments if this rhythm is too fast for you or too slow, or if you have a specific skill level. I can tailor future tutorials to better suit beginners if needed. So drop your feedback in the comments. Move your canvas to deliver better strokes here on the iPad. It is really, really easy and intuitive. So you can just move your fingers and rotate the canvas as you wish. I always try to run a color test before. Sometimes I end up making more adjustments along the way, but this allows me to plan ahead and work faster. I added a green background as the ducks have a light color. It's just a temporary thing until I can clearly see the white parts. I'm adding each color to one layer as I end up changing the color values a lot. Now we are merging all the layers and put them on one side. We are going to the art line layer and reduce the opacity. Then we are going to start painting. I normally add each color I'm coloring on one layer. That way I can change the brightness, the hue or the saturation as I go. Here I decided that I was going to add white to the whole body so then the base shape is colored and I will only need to add clipping masks on top. I'm adding a new layer. Click on the layer and select clipping mask. 
you will see a little arrow and that only means that whatever you paint will be inside of the base color. Here I'm playing with the hues because not all whites are completely white and I'm looking for the perfect color. This way we will be adding every color by selecting one by one the color on our last color test drawing and adding it on its own individual layer. I'm roughly creating a shadow so don't take this into consideration because I will go back to this shadow in a minute. This part is definitely the most time consuming for me because there are so many details here and there. So let's add their eyes first so we can finally see their expression. I'm also adding here the chick on the female duck. And we are starting with the shadows of the female duck. I will add a new layer on top of the body and if you click on the end letter besides the layer, you can select the blending mode. I always use multiply. You select the same color of her body and multiply will only darken the color. The brush I'm using is from Gouache Max Pack called Thin Greedy and I'm brushing slightly the bottom of her body and the neck. This brush is amazing because it gives a subtle green effect and it doesn't have a lot of pigment but you can always build more and more. Now, as you can see in the reference picture, the female duck has some spots on her feathers and I'm going to include that by selecting a new layer in Multiply. Back when I started as a beginner, I struggled to choose the right color for the Multiply effect. I didn't know which color should I choose to create the Multiply effect because it was weird, like I could create a brown but then on Multiply it will look like much more darker and now the most effective method for me is to select the color of the body on the next layers you add multiply and then you already have the shadows now i'm adding some shadows to make it darker and i'm actually going to change the color of her body as it feels a little desaturated and therefore the shadows should be lighter too Now let's add some shadows for those wings and I'm also adding those beautiful blue feathers. I think it adds a little splash of color to so many brown hues. It's beautiful. I'm creating another layer on multiply to add darker lines, roughly. Next I'll add some highlights to her wings. I'll do this by selecting a layer and setting its blend mode to add. Keep in mind that add blend mode tends to make colors more saturated and vibrant. If you find this too intense, simply adjust the opacity until it looks just right to you. Now for the fun part, let's add some green highlights to the male duck. This has always been my favorite part as I can experiment different kinds of greens and blues. We are going to create a new layer on blending mode add. Remember, one click on the end letter and scroll down until you see add. Let's choose again the thin gritty brush and let's start adding highlight to the cheek and the eyes. 
if you see that the stroke is too heavy, just smudge it with the hand icon you see on, on the top right side. And all right, I still feel it's a bit too dark since I want those shiny colors to really stand out. Let's introduce another complementary color. I'll opt for this ochre hue and set it to add mode. These highlights are so fun to play. I'm also adding a little bit of turquoise to the mix. I'm creating the palette I'm using so that you can use it too. I will link it in the description box below. Now, as we have a light background, I feel I need to outline some parts of this duck. To save us some time, I'm grouping the blue wings together by swiping to the right and clicking the plus sign. Then we are duplicating it and that way we have another pair of wings to the male duck without any effort. Remember to flip it horizontally and you just need to put them as a higher layer and erase the parts that doesn't fit. I'm adding some extra feathers too. Remember the shadow on the duck's chest? Let's take care of it. I'm choosing the thin gritty brush again. It is a brush that it's buildable, as I said, which means the more you paint, the more pigment you'll get. Let's add some feather details, and in this case, we are only going to erase it. And now, as you can see, it looks like this duck has fluffy feathers. I'm adding another bluish shadow under the wings so on the color wheel i'm selecting one blue close to a gray now let's focus on the feet create a new layer on top and apply some shadowing using the multiply blend mode then add another layer and set it to multiply ensuring both have clipping masks apply of course The duck's beak it's not yellow but orange so let's change that let me show you a little tip for this to be quicker first swipe to the right with two fingers now that you see that checkered pattern means that you are on alpha log mode this only means that you can draw anything outside the lines we are choosing an orange and now the fastest tip to color that will be to click on the layer and then select fill layer. It directly fills the shape for you in orange so you don't have to redraw it again. Isn't that great? Let's color her beak with a darker brown. I'm reducing the opacity of this layer. You could also select another color, but this way I'm sure that it's not very saturated. I'm also creating some nostrils and little by little our dogs are coming to life. Now the heart. It looked fantastic in pink against the green background but now with this soft peach color we are going to make a change. So let's alpha lock the layer by swiping to the right with two fingers and then add the new color. That looks good to me. Now it's time to add some shadows. So new layer, clip mask, put your layer on multiply. I'm also selecting a brush of Procreate under airbrushing and we are selecting soft brush. I want to create the effect of a balloon so I'm adding a new layer and set it as a screen blend mode. Screen blend mode gives a sort of brightness less than the add mode. In other words, screen mode is great for highlights too. Now let's add some shadows on the male duck's beak. As always, new layer, clipping mask, and I'm selecting a darker yellow to give some extra texture. And using the same color as the nostrils, I'm incorporating a small detail on his beak. 
present in the reference picture too. This kind of breed, the mallard breed duck, uh, has this detail on their beaks and it's really nice to include that on the illustration. At this point we have a ton of layers and we really need to get organized. So what I'm going to do is to group them by swiping each of them to the right and then tap on group on top. Let's name it male, at least the layers that belong to each character. This way you can keep everything organized and tidy. Also easier to find. And then we'll repeat the same process with the female duck. There are other layers that we can move or group because they contain a mix of different elements, so we'll leave them as they are. Now I've saved the cheek for last and I'm coloring it now while you watch. realize that I'm outlining the edge of the duck to differentiate it from the light background. Also adding some extra final touches to the female duck's feathers. Final touch, I enjoy adding some texture behind the characters. To select a suitable color that complements the scene, I'll go to the Layers panel and access the Harmony option on the bottom. Here Procreate provides colors that match your background, with two additional options. While this feature doesn't always work, it's worth to give it a go. Just make sure Analogous is selected for best results. Let's select a brush under painting and I always like to use the Salamanca brush and let's make circular motions. If you see that the color is too light, you can always put it on multiply layer. It's like a cloud effect shadow, adding a touch of fluffiness. <laughs> It appears a bit oversized to me, so I'll use the selection tool to shrink the shape. I'm not entirely satisfied with the cheek's eye, so I'm going back to make them larger. This adjustment will enhance the expression and make it more pronounced.
and that's it this is the whole illustration of a family duck i hope you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments if you found it too complicated or you would like something for beginners i will be reading all your comments thank you and until our next video bye